Uh, hi guys, today I wanted to talk about a camera goat that will carry just about any camera package you throw at it and it will let you get smooth dolly shots. So for the last three months I've been using what is the most sturdy and heavy duty slider I've ever used. In fact it's so strong that I can even sit on it. So it's kind of like a full size dolly that you can put a loaded production camera on and get smooth shots, yet this whole thing can pack into a carry-on size bag. Uh, this is a slider system from Camera Goat, and it's all built around these bar bridges, which, uh, which is what you use to attach the legs uh, and the rails along which the camera platform runs. I got two different kits with hard cases for the camera platforms and the bar bridges along with all the little accessories and adapters they come with. Uh, I also got two kits of the rails and legs with soft cases. Uh, the two different kits are the original goat slider and the mini goat. Uh, the difference is really just the size and how much weight they can take. The weight limit of the mini goat is 75 pounds. Uh, the bare bridges and the platform is smaller than the regular goat and it also uses one inch tubing for the rails and legs. Uh, it's meant for small to medium sized cameras, uh, although I was still able to use it with my loaded Ursa Mini 4.6K production camera rig, uh, which weighs around uh, 17, 18 pounds. Uh, the regular goat parts are bigger and use one and a quarter inch tubing for legs and rails. Uh, it can also handle smaller cameras like the GoPro, but you can really put anything on this thing, uh, all the way up to an IMAX size film camera. Uh, the weight limit is officially 150 pounds, but uh, I was able to sit on the rails with the production camera kit and it still didn't shake or wobble. And, and I alone weigh 155 pounds, so uh, this thing is definitely a beast. I've used the camera goat on various tests I was doing in, in a short film I shot recently and honestly there aren't any big problems I noticed about the slider. The camera goat really does what it claims to do. Uh, if there was one thing I wish that was changed, it's the fact that you require an allen key to attach and detach the rails from the bar bridges. Uh, it would have been so much easier to have a knob so I could, without any tools, loosen and tighten the rails. The, the allen keys are provided, but it just so happened when I was filming once that I forgot to take them and I had no way of assembling the slider. Uh, personally, I didn't end up using the hard cases because even though they protect everything, I just found them to be a bit too big and, and bulky for me to travel with. Uh, also, since all the parts of the camera goat slider are made from Durbo aluminum, uh, I had no problem just throwing them together in a small carry-on bag and uh, transporting it that way. Uh, there's actually a lot of extra parts you get when you buy the whole kit. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I love using this thing. It's, it's very modular. The camera platform, for example, has a lot of attachment points for accessories. Uh, uh, one of the kits that I got has different types of plates for a flat tripod head and also 75mm, 100mm and 150mm tripod ball he head mounts. Uh, there's also a friction brake you can attach, uh, safety ties to make sure that uh, your platform doesn't get knocked off the rails. It even comes with light stand adapters so you can mount it on, on any light stand. In my experience, the different length legs that were supplied uh, worked for 99% of the shots. Uh, these are aluminum pipes that fit through the bar bridges and because you can attach them at any length, it means that, uh, that each leg can be inde independently adjusted. So that allows you to set up the slider on any terrain, doesn't matter how uneven. Uh, also, you don't even have to use the camera gold slider legs or rails since you can pretty much use any pipe with similar di diameter. That's because the wheels on the camera platform uh, can be slightly adjusted in case your rails are a bit too big or small. Uh, the only time where the supplied legs didn't work for me was when I wanted to get a shot where the camera actually was doling out and because the slider was low to the ground and the legs were sticking far above the bar bridge, uh, they were visible as the camera dollied out. But in this case, I just used a light stand to support one of the bar bridges. In conclusion, the camera goat slider could even be called a, a camera donkey because like a donkey, you can take any weight you throw at it without breaking its back. If you're working with a bigger size camera and you want a super steady, smooth and strong slider, then you'll be very happy with the camera goat. Uh, if you're working with any sort of tiny DSLM or DSLR uh, type of camera rig, then there are other options out there that are cheaper 
Although when it comes to the stability, the Camera Gold Mini still beats them all. Uh, so far, uh, all of the sliders I've used for small cameras rely on a tripod uh, supporting the slider, and that's where the Camera Gold Bar Bridge design and its four independent legs are far better than all the other sliders. Uh, if you want to get the slider for yourself, then right now I think it's only being sold uh, on the manufacturer website. Uh, for which I'm going to provide the link in the description of this video. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this look at the, the camera goat. Uh, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, share it. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>